Well, Lee, we gave it a real good go in that second half, but ultimately a game that ends in defeat. What are your immediate reflections? Obviously disappointment because we've, we've lost the game, but the, the players kept going. Um, I thought we started the game relatively well. Uh, I thought we was a team on, on, on the ascendancy, the ascendancy to, to score. Um, and then they get a goal from a set piece. And then I think OK, and then second half, we again asking a lot of questions of them, but it was just that final bit again, like when we was crossing it, it near post man, when we were shooting, didn't test the keeper enough, like just some wild shots going high and wide. But it would work twice in the, in the second half and probably should have had a penalty as well, so um, yeah, small margins, you know, and the most important thing now is that, that we prepare for, we've got a full week now of preparation to get ready for Bristol, and um, that's what we have to plan for. Yeah, two soft goals to give away, and that'll be a real disappointment. Yeah, again, like when, when you keep giving soft goals away, it makes it so much harder to win games, so, but I can't fault that, like, again, look, look who's playing, we finished the game with like eight attack-minded players on the pitch. The only two defensive ones are Peds and, and Woodsy. They're the only two defensive-minded players on the pitch. And that's not like because we're attacking and we're trying to score goals, that, that's all we have available. And we've got one defender fit, one. So it's, it's, it's tough, but we'll, we'll go get ready for Saturday and we'll go again. No matter who goes onto the pitch, Whoever starts, then I know they're going to give 100% like they did today. Again, I thought Bella and, and Jordan and Peds, I, I thought they tried their hardest. Um, but yeah, we'll just get ready for the next one. Yeah, like we say, we huffed and puffed particularly in that second half. But when you're playing against a side who actually sat in for large parts of the game, they've got a two goal lead, they're difficult to break down at that point. Yeah, they. I wouldn't even say like that, that they were solid because they wasn't. We was like with it. It would work twice, so I wouldn't say they were solid. But they just sat back and, and and let us have the ball, and we had to try and create chances and opportunities, and and we done that second half. But we just just not going going for us at the moment, and um, but we'll keep going. Yeah. Forced into a change before kick-off. No Lyle Taylor, how's he? And of course, an update on Maxine Collin as well. Lyle, he's, he's been having this tight groin for, for a few games now. Um, and he's, he's been able to, to manage what, what what's going on there. And But then in a the warm-up, it just tightened up a little bit. And um, so we, we couldn't take the risk. Uh, obviously, I don't know the extent of it yet, but um, and, and, and Max, oh, I think we, he's got a fire strain, I think. So, um, so yeah, but they'll, they'll go for a scans on, on, on Monday, I guess. Yeah, and not only does Maxime Collins' injury in the middle of that game cause a problem at the back, but Gary Gardner having to drop in there, and it takes him away from a position where he's been performing remarkably well over recent weeks. Yeah, that threat arriving late in the box, and but they're just nothing else you can do so uh, he, he done well at the back but yes we you, you then lose him in his normal position with so many people playing out of position at the moment it's, it's crazy but but again I'm, we, we just keep going and, and keep fighting yeah is it made all the more frustrating by the fact that you can see particularly going forward there's some talented players out there and we'd love to see what this group of players all back all fully fit could do but we're, we're not given that opportunity yet no we, we, we don't have the opportunity and whenever you seem to get one or two back then you lose one or two and we just can't seem to keep the group fit and, and if we could I would like to see how, how well we could do because like you said we've got some, some good players and um, but unfortunately for us that's, that's not the case at the minute. On a brighter note, to Heath Chung back out there in a blue shirt. The last 25 minutes, and he's going to take a few weeks to get up to speed, isn't he? Yeah, he'll play for the 23s tomorrow. Um, 
but yeah, he's, he's rusty. Like I said earlier on in the week, he's, he's rusty and he's going to be rusty and we all have to be patient with him because he's not the player that, that got injured a, month, a few months ago. So it's going to take a little bit of time to catch up and, and get rid of that rustiness. So, um, But it's great to see him out there again and, and he got the reception he deserved. Yeah, a final week, whilst we're, final word, whilst we're going through a bit of an injury crisis, a word on the players that are being asked to do jobs out of position, there's plenty of them out there and like you said before, it's not through the want of trying out there, you know they're going to give you everything when they're asked to do a job. Yeah, again, I've got Bella getting whacked in the head and it's playing out of position, Jordan, like they're, they're trying, you know. Um, all of them have got a lot of people playing out of position and, and, and they're giving everything they, they, they can and... Are they going to make the odd mistake? Of course they are. Um, but I'm, I'm not going to criticise them they're, because they're giving everything. If they, if they wasn't fighting and I didn't see that, then that's different because it, everyone can run around. But um, yeah, they're, they're a good bunch and, and, and they'll keep going. I have no doubt. Thanks, Lee. Cheers.